One of the challenges that we have in uh, supply of uh, the oil seeds is uh, we don't get enough. And why we don't get enough is because the smallholder farmers that we have contracted, the productivity is low. And uh, that is one of the challenges that uh, as a company we want to address. And that's why as Bitco, we said we are going to do a demo uh, farm of about uh, 47 to 50 acres where we want to do everything right. We want to do the correct uh, planting density for both soya bean and uh, sunflower, use the correct fertilizers, inoculant, and do everything right in this uh, demo. So we have brought on board a number of partners to work with us and uh, uh, they start with Soil Care, which who are doing the soil analysis. We have Seedco supplying us with uh, soya bean seeds. We have uh, Kenya Seed Company supplying us with uh, uh, sunflower seeds. Then we have uh, Mea. Mea, they are providing us with the fertilizer as well as uh, the inoculant. The inoculant is to enhance nitrogen fixation, which will increase yield by between 15 to about 20 percent, as well as the uh, insurance component that we are going to include uh, one acre fat to provide us with uh, the insurance component. We normally use uh, DG Farm for profiling the farmer, the smallholder farmers and providing them with inputs as well as uh, logistics, then Bitco gives them uh, an optic uh, market. So even in this uh, project, we are working together, they are providing the technology so that we, 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 we get everything right. Understandably so, the gap has been access yeah, of inputs, of major agricultural inputs for farmers. Yeah? And we want to really make this for the various input providers. We want this to reach every farmer in Kenya. Yeah, so the gap in productivity has been the input use because it has been shown that actually Kenya and as, as uh, Africa as a whole, we don't use the enough input as we should. Yeah, and that one trickles down to the smallholder farmer. So with this, at the end of the day, we want to showcase, to show the farmer Yes, we can provide the various inputs that they require so that at least they can increase their productivity, which is the main goal. So our main aim is to go to backward integration, teach the Kenyan farmer how to get the better yield, a scientific way of doing, because there is an opportunity in Kenya. In the Bitco demo farm, we have planted uh, two varieties of sunflower. We have a hybrid called H8998 and an open pollinated variety called uh, Kenya Feather. The hybrid normally gives higher yields and is shorter and is not prone to lodging. Where lodging means when the head is formed, it does not fall over because of the weight, unlike the other variety, but the yields Tend to be bigger. With Kenya feather, it grows slightly taller and the stalk is a bit thin, so it's not able to support the head well and therefore lodges or falls, falls down. But it matures earlier, but the yields are more or less the same. The only advantage is that uh, Kenya feather matures slightly earlier. To enhance pollination, we have partnered with uh, a partner called uh, Africa Apiculture, they have provided us with about 10 beehives to provide the bees for pollination. Pollination, when you have bees, they enhance pollination and therefore you get uh, good yields. So a farmer who is growing sunflower needs to incorporate beekeeping because the bees will enhance pollination and therefore you get good yields in sunflower production and you also get extra income from uh, the honey that you get from uh, the bees. Well, the crop has been doing uh, quite well. It's quite uh, impressive and we expect to get uh, good yields. We are expecting about uh, 1,200 kilos per acre, as opposed to what the farmers have been getting, very low yields of 400, even some uh, as low as uh, 200 kilos per acre. So we should be able to get uh, good yield in this, uh, in this crop. The oil that is extracted from uh, sunflower 
is healthy oil and the byproducts from the sunflower, we convert them into high quality feeds. The major challenge we have faced with the sunflower production is birds damage. We have devised a, a mechanism of uh, chasing away the birds. We have put several ladies here who guard against the birds so that they protect the damage on the sunflower, which can affect the yields at the head. For the soya, we have used two varieties. The Saga and Salama, they are both from Sitco. The Saga is a variety which is having a bigger seed and the, also the variety itself is taller up to the two foot. The Salama is a shorter, the, the plants also is a tiny seeds. Saga having a oil, oil content around 20%, the Salama having an oil content around 17 to 18%. The yield per acre for Saga and Salama is between 1.2 to 1.5 metric ton per acre. During the season, we had a major problem of weed control. To address this, we applied pre and post emergency measures. The soybean harvested from this demo farm will produce the high quality soya gold oil and the byproduct as a soya meal will be used for making high quality Bitco animal feed. We look at agriculture being uh, beneficial you know, as a whole. If all the counties can actually embrace this model, do the production, all our farmers are able to benefit. <laughs> So this being a proof of concept, we're actually trying to prove here that winning partnerships can be brought together when people come together with a clear vision of where we want to go. We're saying let's go self-sufficient in our food, let's become self-sufficient in feeding Kenya for itself, and we believe that's possible. Increase your productivity, improve your uh, yield per acre, price will not matter because then your cost of production is low. Once your cost of production is low, the price will give you a good margin. And we're showing people a margin before they plant. <laughs>